No. <laughs> Your most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Brett Thackeray. Good morning, everybody. Well, get ready. It is going to be a very pleasant stretch of weather ahead. A nice September weather and pretty seasonable too over the coming days. A few clouds overhead in Kinzers this morning with a temperature of 62, but dew points have dropped into the 50s now. Temperatures will too, and in fact, we're already seeing that across parts of the region. This is Mifflin Town, nestled in the valley, 56 degrees, a dew point of 56. Clear skies this morning over Mifflin Town, as we uh, will show you the satellite in just a second. We made it to 81 yesterday, a little warmer than I thought we would be. That is above the average now, which is 78. We picked up just over a tenth of an inch of rain. We had rain in the last week, thanks to that stalled front. It wasn't enough, though. I mean, uh, just over a tenth of an inch, not going to get it done. And so our yearly departure now continues to sit over six inches. Most of our counties remain in a drought watch. And while the rain was enough over this past week to stave off any larger drought concerns, it still looms over us, even with the nice weather coming that we will have uh, a dry seven to 10 day stretch coming up. So some clouds drifting over Philly exiting our region right now. We clear out and this is what is left of that front. Now cooler, drier air filtering in 55 in Chambersburg, for example. Meanwhile, it's still near 70 in Baltimore and DC 60s in the cities locally. We're falling, but maybe not fast enough for some of you. It is about five to 10 degrees cooler this morning than yesterday. The proof is in the pudding right there and dew points have dropped, so it's not as humid and dew points will continue to uh, set in the 50s for the next week or so. There's the low associated with this front. This front's actually going to get sort of absorbed into Lee. These are the clouds from Hurricane Lee sitting offshore, but we will have high pressure building in here, keeping a Lee at bay and keeping us sunny and less humid. Uh, but this is still a very big hurricane, and we're going to get into that here in just a bit. But a nice, lovely stretch of weather for us. In fact, from uh, now through the weekend, it just looks very pleasant. Highs in the 70s. Overnight lows in the 50s. You can give your AC a break. Look at that. Tomorrow afternoon looks awesome. Even the clouds from Lee are projected to stay away now. We'll still have a bit of a breeze at times over the next couple of days. Even this afternoon, a little bit of a northerly breeze behind the front uh, will make things feel pretty pleasant. And then tomorrow and Saturday, as the uh, hurricane continues to lift into the North Atlantic, we'll have a little bit of a breeze from it. About a 10 to 15 mile an hour wind both Friday and on Saturday as Lee slams into Maine as a tropical storm. So the extended outlook here featuring very seasonable temperatures, uh, highs uh, just shy of where they should be at 78 degrees. It is going to be very comfortable too. look at the dew point forecast over the next week. Very low. You're not seeing anything above that humid range, so very comfortable stuff. Tropical update Lee now a category two storm and continues to churn and make its turn to the north, but wind still at 100 miles an hour now moving to the north at about 10 miles an hour. And this is a storm that is projected to hit to Maine or at least a very close to Maine Saturday afternoon, Saturday night uh, before moving northward into the Canadian Maritime. So when we track Lee, you can see Lee's going to stay away from us. Even the clouds now look to stay away. We have high pressure in control, but watch this thing kind of batter the coast of New England and Maine Saturday for most of it, and then it will make landfall over the Canadian Maritimes here as uh, a tropical storm. So we'll wrap it up for you. 75 and sunny here today. Tonight, cooler, 54. Not too bad. And Allie, a nice weekend is ahead. There is a front that's going to move through Sunday and Monday. It's kind of taking out the shower chances. Just not a lot of moisture with that. And so look at how nice that forecast is. Mm -hmm. The backdrop is just that we need the rain and we're not going to get it. Yeah, you were you were guessing that you may have mowed your grass for the la the last time this season I mean, already. It was pretty crunchy yesterday. If we don't get some rain soon, that may be it. We'll see. Probably one more time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.